Back at camp, the team are preparing for another darting mission. Attempting to collar Anastasia again is not an option. So today, the team will move on to a new elephant, a bull. Bull elephants often come into conflict with people in the wild, and collaring them can provide critical data on exactly where the trouble is brewing. Ian is a passionate pilot with 40 years' experience. He'll lead the operation from the air. This is it. Ian has spotted the bull elephants, but they're in very thick bush. He directs the team to the bull's location. They'll have to move fast to catch up with him. Just a thin wall of bushes separates Dr. Chege from Esidai, a four-ton bull elephant with just one enormous spear-like tusk. The Save the Elephants team have been watching him for six years, and he's now just coming into his prime. Even though the team know Esidai, they don't know exactly how he'll react. That's it. Can you tell me? Yeah. That in Ian, that in everyone. From the moment the dark goes in, the clock is ticking. Esidai has headed into the undergrowth, and they mustn't lose sight of him before he goes down. Where is the animal? We keep on moving. Ian can still see him from the air and guides the team into position. It's in the lager. We've got a vision. in the lager, yeah. It's not very good position. Only when Dr. Chege is sure that he's properly anaesthetized can the team move in. We need to be a little bit fast, guys. The team springs into action. Esadai must only be down for the shortest time possible. Good. How long was that? Someone recording anything? Are we just time down, Frank? We went down at five past five. Yeah, please, Sada. someone to record that. Can you write that on the piece Everyone knows their role. I needed to come back a little bit. David's in charge of the collar, but Esidai is lying on the edge of a dry riverbank, and the angle is tricky. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, guys. The problem is, well, the problem is oh, if you rotate, it, this is going very far away. That's the problem. It's, uh, it's cold faster here because of the blood vessels. Anesthetized elephants can easily overheat. The water helps keep Esidai cool. Be careful. Don't put it inside. <laughs> OK, just one minute. Blood and tissue samples can tell the team who Esidai's relatives are, perhaps even revealing the identity of his own mother. Of course, we're talking about a big deal in it. Don't worry, my boy, we're going to get you up any minute. the next one. At last, the collar is on. Everyone else backs off while Dr. Chege administers the antidote to bring him round. I always feel it's a little bit like those people who think they've been zapped by aliens and they come to with this huge alien device around their neck. But actually, it doesn't really bother the elephants at all. It doesn't weigh that much. Uh, after a few days, once they've touched it and felt it, they forget about it completely. Yeah, well done, everybody. He's looking great. I'm excited to see what Esadai brings us. I mean, where is he going to go next? What's happening in this particular bull's life?